Hello all. Welcome to the introduction video of the WinDBG user and kernel mode debugging series at Pentester Academy. So as usual, I am very, very excited to announce this new course. Uh, so let's begin with the course objective. Of course, as the name suggests, we will be learning user and kernel mode debugging. Primarily what we intend to look at is examining the CPU, registers, memory, uh, disassembling, you know, different parts of uh, the program's code and trying to gain key insights into how the program works and what it is doing. Now, in kernel mode, we will try and understand more of Windows internals and kernel data structures, uh, which will help us go ahead and look at device drivers, crash analysis, root kits, and all of that in a much more involved way. So this is the overall course objective. Now, is this even useful for us in InfoSec, right? For hackers and pen testers. So if you're great at debugging, especially with WinDBG user and kernel mode, this will come in very handy when you're looking at things like exploit research, reverse engineering, malware analysis, or even wanting to learn about Windows internals and both detecting and defending rootkits against rootkits. So I really think personally, without knowing a little bit of debugging, it's impossible to even get into any of these fields. And this is really where I'm creating this as a prerequisite course for many of these other courses, which we intend to make. The course outline. Now in Security Tube and Pentester Academy style, this is going to be extremely elaborate, comprehensive, and a complete deep dive technical as far as, you know, uh, going ahead and looking at uh, this course is going to be. So the course outline, first we'll begin by setting up the lab. Then we'll look at WinDBG basics. A lot of people like calling WinDBG WinBag, whichever one you prefer or any other pronunciation for that matter. Then we will see how we can understand processes and threads and multiprocessor systems and how all that ties into debugging. Then we'll set up symbol, symbol servers, and we will look at the key differences between debugging with and without source. Of course, most of the times in this course, we will be debugging without the source code available to us. Now we'll begin with user mode debugging, where we will look at breakpoints, watches, examining CPU registers, memory, heap, stack, uh, different code segments, thread and associated storages, and also modifying registers, data, memory segments, etc. Apart from this, we will also do a deep dive into disassembling uh, certain examples to gain key insights into how the program functions. Now, after we finish user mode debugging, we will jump into kernel mode debugging. This is something most of you might not have done before. So we'll start from the very basics and begin with creating our own kernel debugging setup. Then we'll look at windows and driver internals key kernel data structures and understand how processes, thread scheduling, etc. works in the kernel. Then we will look at certain APIs and subsystems interesting to us from a security and hacking perspective. We will also outline the different ways by which one can do analysis on programs, which could be backdoors and rootkits. Now this course will be completely hands-on just like everything else at Pentester Academy. And we will look at different case studies with buffer overflows and malicious programs, which can run locally, may communicate over a network 
and with root kits and kernel mode backdoors. For most of these case studies, we will be providing sample code which you can run locally, modify and try out different things. So as you can see, the course outline is quite exhaustive. Uh, now for the lab setup. Now I want this course to be as current as possible and hence we will be doing examples on both Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Of course, as of this writing, Windows 10 isn't officially available, but we have the technical and insider preview and I'm going to be using the insider preview. If you do not have Windows 10, no problem. You can continue to use Windows 8.1 in a VM or as your base system. Now we will be using only the 64 bit edition, right? I mean, I think the 32 bit editions in a way are pretty much obsolete. So we'll only be using the 64 bit editions and primarily Windows 8.1. Really the reason why I'm also including Windows 10 is given that Windows 10 is up for release in the next couple of months, I don't want people to immediately complain and say, hey, the course is obsolete or something like that. The debugging techniques which we will learn pretty much will apply for Windows 8.1 and versions before that and definitely 10 and above, right? Unless there is a drastic change in the architecture, which I really doubt. Now, apart from this, we'll be installing Windows Studio, uh, sorry, Visual Studio 2013 and 2015 Professional, 2013 on 8.1 and 2015 Professional on 10. Again, both of these are available as 90 day trials, which is what we will use. And we will also install the Windows DDK, SDK and uh, the help which we would prefer uh, if it is local. So the next three videos are going to be just the lab setup, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and then installing the help, Visual Studio, etc. So that's all I have in this introduction video. I'm really very excited about this course and hope you are as well. And as you're following this course, and if you enjoy what we do at Pentester Academy, tweet to us, post to us on Facebook. Uh, and of course, you know, feel free to tell your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. That's all for this video. Thank you and have a great day ahead.